I want to show you Sprite Something, an app for the Apple iPad for drawing and editing Sprite Sheets. Uh, this is the main editing area where we edit the current frame we've chosen. Now the tools are on the left side. It starts with just pencil for drawing with the current color, the eraser, we erase wherever you touch. Fill can fill in the entire area of the color where you touch with the new color. Eyedropper will pick a color from the editing area. You can manually choose your color here with the color selection, touching anywhere on here to update, or using the RGB sliders. There's undo buttons to undo the past edits you've made. There is also the redo button. There's the preview window here. You can pinch to shrink or grow the preview. See it at four times the size there. Down at the bottom is the current entire image where you can see you can touch different frames to make those active in the editing window. Now let's say you want to start a new drawing, but you want some kind of reference to the old one. Well, you can use the onion skinning as kind of a tracing pattern to draw over. So now maybe I want to make him wink this time. And so on. You can also turn on and off the onion skin background with the I button. Let's say you want to create a new image. You click on the new button, you give it a name, we'll call this one Potion, and then an image size of 64, let's say 64, and 16 by 16 for the frames within that. And then it'll tell me I'll have 16 total frames to work with, with those dimensions. And then you can also choose a clear background or the current color as the background to this new image. Click Done. And let's just draw a real quick potion. And here we go. And maybe fill it with some red. Let's go up to there and fill. Now, let's say I wanted to edit my frame size. You can edit that up here by clicking on the name. You could rename it. Or you could just change the frame size to, let's say, 12 by 12. And you'll see it readjust itself. You can also choose from any of your saved sprites by clicking sprites in the top left and then just touching on a new one, let's say, Billiken. Now, when you're in iTunes, you can save out any of the images you've made with sprite something and they're all saved as PNGs, or you can add your own PNGs into it. Look for Sprite Something in the App Store on iTunes very soon.